Welcome to the 8th episode of the Let's Build series in which I plan to build a quarter with you. In the previous episodes what we did was to complete these four buildings here and now in the next episode, in this episode, I want to build a building here, a house with a courtyard area in the back and therefore first of all to get a little bit well, a better view and um, a little bit of more concept about the size of the courtyard area that we are able or allowed to build. Um, I'm just going to clear off these dirt blocks real quick. And then we are going to carry on with the frames for the main part of the building. Since it's going to be a very big building, we will have to spend this episode probably completely with just, uh, well, finishing these frames. Okay, now in the previous episode what I already prepared was this this archway to get to the back. Uh, but I kind of have a problem with the perfect symmetry of these building parts here. So one way to go about it would be to simply move this, this middle part a little bit more to the left. But I don't want that. I don't want that because sometimes it's even nice to have symmetry, to, to kind of have symmetry but at the same time not to have. So basically what I'm going to do is to cut off this part of the house here and then have, wait, the house will continue some, somehow like this because we once again need, um, need a straight wall here to put the next building up to the side, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is simply to have a roof going from this, from the right to the left. So like this. And therefore, you can already see that this will turn out to look much, well, very much differently than it was uh, originally planned. It's, I think it's going to be, yeah, it's okay, uh, because I still want to have a building part up here. It's still supposed to be a second floor going on here. So it's once again going to be kind of fake roof, something like we, like the thing we did over here. There's no, act, um, there's no actual need for this roof here but it's simply a stylistic thing that I sometimes do simply to have a little bit of, um, well, a symmetry going on there. So, uh, for the frames, as I was talking about, I kind of want to have the building go around like this. So we are going to end up with quite the narrow parts, but uh, back here we can have a larger part. So I think five blocks on the inside here for this courtyard area are enough. So we are going to end the building on this very layer here. Uh, there we go. Over here it's basically just going to be a corridor because we once again need to uh, place this, this wall here completely to fill the wall in completely. And we also need a wall here, so it's going to be a one block wide building. So this this one is just going to be, for example, this is this one is very um, very good in order to just make a staircase in it. So this is going to be the, the main part of the building here. We're gonna have a wing here on this side with two blocks width. I'm going to use the same wall for this building. Um, that, or we're gonna, we are going to share the wall with the, the other building is what I'm trying to say. And on this side there's just gonna be this corridor which will lead up into the staircase that's going to go up here so that we can get access to the second floor. Okay so this is a, a rough plan for now. Um, for the inside, however, I think, yeah, we're going to need to get rid of a few blocks of these. And now we're going to have to do something that is um, essential whenever you're building in, a, in such a close, uh, closed off area. So we are going to interfere with the wall itself. Since we don't really need those stabilizing elements here, um, because there's going to be a, a house leaned against the wall, right? So we can use a little bit more of the wall space actually as long as we are not going to go Well kind of undermining of the actual wall with it, which is this layer right here So we can get rid of two more layers and get a little bit more space for the inside of the building and um, See this is still a little bit of stabilization here. I don't quite think we are going to need it especially because we don't have a wall back here. Uh, let, but let's let's not concentrate on that right now. So the wall is going to continue up until here and then it's going to go like this. And I want to have a double pillar here. So we can get rid of these blocks as well. 
as long as, as, as I said, as long as we don't touch this layer here, it will all s still be all right. Now, since the wall is going uh, is going a little bit to the left here, it's uh, moving a little bit to the left, of course. Um, I am going to. What am I going to do about that? So we need to kind of have a curvy shape over here, um, and I'm not quite sure if I want to go about it like this in a, in a diagonal line. Um, or if I'm okay, uh, forget everything I said. I'm, I'm going to undermine this this wall at this point, but only this one block at the corner. So, uh, as I said in the previous videos, this is a style completely about making compromises, and in this case, I will have to make a compromise. So this is going to be the wall here, and then I do think. Um, going to go like this. Wait, we can't see, yeah, okay, we can't see this block from the other building, it was just part of the frames, so we don't really necessarily have to have um, the, the log uh, pillar here. So we can simply move it to the side a little bit, and since we are going to cover this up here, we just cheat it a little bit, but, well, doesn't matter, right? And we don't need, whoops, we don't, what the, we don't need this block either, so we can continue it like this, as a sideway log. And now there's enough space here to build the wall for this house. And I do think it's easiest to go about it like this. Alright. And then we can make a double pillar here as well. And therefore we have one block more for the courtyard area. Which I'm going to quickly fill in here. Okay, so this is, this is our courtyard. And since we are going to have a little bit of overhangs, um, simply to make the walls not look too, uh, to, to avoid making the walls look too plain, uh, there is going to be like a, an overhang from these sides. So we are actually going to end up with three blocks in width for the for the complete um, courtyard. So uh, this is about it. As you can see, the the shape of the building is a lot different to the rest of the buildings that we already did. But this is something um, that. If you are if you're ready for it, if you build enough houses in this kind of style, then uh, just go for it and try different things out. If you don't feel too confident about it, then just continue building the other houses. This is simply something that I like to do, and um, yeah, just just do just do it on your own pace, right? So don't just build the buildings because I'm building them, but try and find uh, your own your own strengths and your own um, well advantages, and or a, a different style or whatever, and build them build them your own. That's very important. Just don't just copy what I'm doing. Uh, try and make different things up. Um, this is also a reason for this this let's build, because it's it's easy of course and it's convenient to just copy something that somebody else did. Um, but it's it's way more difficult to come in with come up with your own things or even come up with uh, several uh, several things of the same building style but not exactly the things that somebody showed you somebody in this case being me okay I want to go about it like this and I don't quite know if I want to have these logs I I'm thinking about turning them into the logs with uh, log textures all around. But at the same time, it could be quite nice to simply take uh, wooden buttons and oops, place them on those. Could end up looking nice. Um, for now, what I'm going to do is to finish this, this roof on this side, simply so I have a better overview um, what the whole thing will look like, and that's okay. On this one here, I think I want to start with a roof already, so there's not going to be a third floor. Since this, since this is a quite a big house, we have a lot of space here, I'm not going to go up further than two stories. So I kind of want to have uh, the roof for this or being already here, which allows us to, con um, to uh, continue building the roof of the other building. Um, not here. I'm not too sure what's gonna happen back here. And now for this part of the building, I do I do I even dare? Do I even dare? I think I want to have a flat roof. I think I want to have a flat roof on this one, uh, simply because I don't want to have one of the 
normal roofs going uh, moving from the from the outsides to the center again. I kind of want to have a flat roof here, and therefore I am going to need slabs and planks and of course stairs. And so I'm going to start here on this layer. Then I'm going to move on about like this, and then plank, plank. And another sl row of slabs, and for these over here, I'm going to place um, stairs upside down stairs because this I, th I think this looks much better than just to go with a with a plank um, because it brings a little bit more of uh, well, 3D brings it a little bit more of uh, pers perspective was the word I was th um, I was looking for. Okay, and. Now we're just going to continue this up until these how our roofs fuse here. Um, and now we have the choice either to make it like this or to, cr to put another regular wall block up there. I do think this is nicer. Okay, and on this side, of course. Uh, here we need to continue like that, as we did with the first floor. Once again, we're going to interfere with this part of the wall here. Need to get rid of them. And as you can see, we don't really need these windows. Kind of win what 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 is the word for that? Um, I know the German word, but that doesn't help too much, does it? Uh, so basically, these are these are uh, kind of kind of shooting holes in the wall where you can just look out and shoot with a bow um, uh, or a crossbow or whatever. So basically, uh, just to to yeah narrow narrow holes in the wall uh, that help you shoot people outside. So if you if you know the word, just put, paste it in the comments, and uh, then for the next time, I'm going to be able to use the correct word and the correct phrasing for it. Uh, then, as I said, I don't really need the the back part of the wall as long as we are not going to interfere with this row of blocks here. It's all going to be alright. And as I already said in the last episode, this one is going to have to go, so we have to interfere with this rule for a short time. And then there's also going to go the wall like this. We don't need that because we don't see it from the other side of the building, so it's just going to be like that. And of course, finish the frames here and there. This is going to be, yep, the borders. And for the courtyard itself, I do think... Well, we're gonna end up... I wanna, as I said, wanna have a staircase going up here. I'm just gonna do it real quick, so... I can't forget it. Because I do think the time is almost up. Um, I do wanna have it going a little bit deeper. It doesn't really matter, I'm not gonna get rid of these extra blocks, because uh, they're go going to be concealed by the wall. Even though we're, we're losing so much space because of that. We're losing these three blocks here. Uh, wait, do we even do we even see this? Yeah, we do see this row of blocks from the outside. No, we don't. Wait, 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 wait. Because the wall is going over on it here. So basically, if we do it like that, we're not going to end up having troubles. And therefore, therefore... We can start the staircase here, and then go about it like this. Yep, and therefore we have a little bit more space. Um, so we're gonna come up here, and then have a walk around. So this is gonna be closed off here, I think. That will be enough. So for the walls, for the courtyard area... Um, first of all, I'm just gonna build them straight up. Except for yeah, let's just let's just keep going with the doubles uh, double pillars. Um, let's go ahead like this, and then okay, complete like that. I'm not quite sure um, what to do exactly about this. This oops, uh, did I just place a block? Is this a block? Yeah. I'm not quite sure what exactly to do about this courtyard area right now because it's it's too plain for my taste. Um, but but uh, first of all, I want to get rid of this. I want to 
this here. See, the, see, the, the problem is, uh, the problem I'm having right now is that these walls, they are way too plain, but I don't want to make too much of a mess to the inside here. Um, what would be nice would be to have a kind of platform here where you can stand on from the inside. Maybe like this. So you have a door that's leading out outside here, so you can have a look a look down. Um, or even no, let's let's have a kind of lift. So basically, there's going to be a little crane here attached to the roof that is obviously going to go like this. And this crane will help us get things and move things up until this level so we are going to have this extra layer but only these these few blocks maybe with this in the middle to, simply to make it look a little bit more reinforced and then there's going to be a, ro a rope that's that can be lowered down here uh, but still we need to do something about these parts here and I'm thinking about what am I thinking about um, this is the German Coast Guard. What are you thinking about? If you know this advertisement, you are awesome. Um, what are we going to do about it? Uh, let's decide later. Let's finish these, these roofs first. So we have this kind of roof setting on this side, and we are going to end up here with the same roof structure as we did up here. Um, so basically we started on that row, did we? Uh, no, it was one block higher, right, like this. So this is just just a rough, a rough sketch for me to find out where I have to place these blocks. And then it's going to go like this, and therefore the house is going to end like here. Okay. There we go. Oh wait, I need to place some blocks for the walls here, so I have to move up one more block, and that will be that will be okay. It will be like a, a roof a reinforcement on this side. Just gonna make it like this, and maybe I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side to have symmetry in this case. So it's just gonna go like wait. I need a stair. I need a stair. Would you please give me a stare? Did, didn't I already see it? I, I must have skipped past it a thousand times. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, wait, no. Damn. Something what I want to do is to do it like this, but since this is a top slab, I just can't place it like this, and this looks weird. I'm just going to do it like that. Okay, uh, then it's just going to be like this. And maybe... Maybe. Like this? No? I'm just gonna leave it like this for a moment. Okay, and um, the house on this side, the roof, is going to have to fuse into this, so I'm just gonna. Do you wanna do it like this? I kind of think that I have to. Um, and then slabs here. And just just wait for it. it. It's going it's going to turn turn out okay. It's looking like a mess right now, but we'll find something and figure something out to have it fuse correctly. Um, so we need to change this. I don't want to change that because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the uh, the change of the levels there, the layers. And I do want to go about it like this so we can. Finish off this part of the previous building, all right. And then I would like to do the same thing that we did on the other side, here. But, let's do it like that. Yep. Whoops, already looks better. Do we, do we even need this? Let's not. Let's not. 
Um, maybe we can even add... Yeah, okay, let's, let's do this real quick. Um, I'm just going to add another chimney here. So what I'm going to do is to place these here. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Um, because this will obviously be a chimney of this building. Um, but still, we have the problem of these simple floors over here. I kind of want to have an overhang, but not too much though. And I don't want to have it interfere with the crane here. So what if we do it like this? And simply like this. And this. No, wait, like this. And here. Why you ask? Because because it's it's nice and all. And then like that. No, see? The roof interferes with the crane. I don't want that. I do not want that. So, um, what if we just go and make it one block lower? Like that? Will that be, be nicer? I do think so. I do think so. I don't exactly know what this thing serves. What, what's the purpose of it is. It's simply something decorative. Maybe it's even, maybe it's even a position where you can hoist in things from from the outside with a crane. I don't know. Um, if the like if the rope from the, the crane is going down from here, then you can stand here and heave it in. Whatever, that's okay. Uh, so there has to be a door here on this side. Maybe just a little f random. Uh, random frame shit going on and 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 then I'm just gonna uh, continue with the frames here we have to do the same thing we did on the first floor and I'm afraid we are running out of time so this is um, yeah this is this is it for for this episode so as you can see it's kind of kind of um, turning out to be a little bit more complex than I thought but we are going to find something decent to do with this place and after that we are going to move on with the next house to the uh, to the right here and well yeah that should be about it so um, as always I do hope you enjoyed watching this this video I do hope you enjoy this series and if you have any suggestions about the buildings or other structures that should appear in this um, in this quarter um, important things, important little details that should be built, then post them in the comments. And as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew, become a major dado, so you will have to see you next time. Bye bye.